Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Arpita Karva and in this video lecture, I'm going to talk about few things that you must remember on the day of your exam and few things that you must follow on the day before your exam. And these tips that I'm giving you in this video lecture, especially for the people who are appearing for the next net exam. So if you two are one of them, then make sure that you make a list of these points and you follow them appropriately because these are time tested things that I'm going to tell you and you will definitely see that these things will definitely help you in producing better results so the first thing that you should not do on the day before your exam is that please don't panic if you don't remember points from your revision notebook I've already made a video on how to revise and I've made a video on preparation strategies and all these videos I've told that you should maintain a separate copy in which you can write down the points that you're forgetting so that you can recall them again and again but on the day of your exam or on the day before your exam when you open that copy and you still find few things that you're not able to remember please don't panic see our brain is a brilliant machine and it can help you in the best possible way but if you try to over pressurize the brain if you try to put the brain in negative emotions like guilt like unhappiness the brain will not be able to function properly so even if you don't remember things don't worry, that's the part of life. You are not meant to remember each and everything. We have done our best. We have read 100% thing out of which you might remember 80% which is enough. There are people who have not even read 40% things. So they remember like 10-15%. See, all these competitive exams is about scoring marks better than the rest of the population is. So you are not Einstein. You will not remember everything. Even Einstein did not remember everything. But you must understand the fact that even if you forget certain things, it's fine. That's the part of life and every time you read something and you forget it just tell your brain that okay so this is how you play with your brain the second important tip that you must do before the day of your exam is that please avoid the company of negative people please don't talk to too many people on the day before your exam because see what happens is that we all are emotional beings if we come in contact with too many people on a day before our exam we might find ourselves hurt by the comments of certain people we might feel that there are people who are trying to demoralize us who are trying to tell us that we are not good enough and all these negative statements will somewhere down the line make you feel guilty will make you feel underconfident and you must remember one thing guys that confidence is the key i'll be making a video next sunday in which i'll be talking about what or how to program yourself before you sit for an exam and make sure that you watch that video because in that video I have told you the benefits of confidence so for now you must remember that please avoid the company of negative people the third important thing that you must remember is that please don't give second thoughts about sitting for the exam I have seen people who on the last day of their exam like on the last day before their exam they start questioning their preparation they start questioning their existence sometimes and they start believing that we yeah, are like I should not sit for this exam guys see understand this fact that you have prepared for an exam for about four or five months and it's just an exam you need to go and give your best you just need to uh, remember the things that you have studied all the while and you just need to go there and perform to the best of your ability it's not something which you have to clear or you will be put behind the bars it's not uh, the end of the life you just need to take it as a simple game which will help you in achieving certain desired results so this is how you need to approach the exam don't make a big deal out of it the more we try to put importance on certain things the more that thing will become a burden to us so if you want yourself to be calm and composed during the exam please don't make it a big deal it's just an exam if you don't clear it this time you still have an option to clear it next time or why to even think that we will not be able to clear it take it as a challenge just like we play video game we have mastered certain levels now we are performing on a different level we might win we might lose but we don't attach ourselves to that thing i know it's easy to say than to 
feel or then to actually believe in it but then this is what the process of life is all about so coming to the next topic that you must remember or the next point that you must remember before the day of your exam is that please for god's sake don't eat junk food on the last day uh, i still remember that my mother uh, read it somewhere that you know it's good to have chocolate and cakes while a person is preparing for exam because these are mood boosters and mood enhancers so she used to give me cakes like every day for like about 15 days i used i was served cake like every two hours three hours my mother used to give me a serving of cake but then on the last day she made sure that i only had good food like i had simple plain food which is easily digestible so that next day i don't have any stomach problems because guys what happens is that our brain and stomach is connected a lot if you don't feel well in your stomach you will not be able to give your 100% during the exam so always remember that on the last day on the last day of your preparation please do not have any junk food do not have any chocolate or any sort of uh, caffeine or other things just have simple meal simple diet okay and have enough water because somewhere in one day your body will rejuvenate and will be able to function properly one more thing that you must remember is that please get enough sleep i have already talked about the importance of sleep in my last video in which i've told you that please at least have a sleep of 8 hours before you hit the exam hall because in the exam hall the best machine that you have you'll be carrying that machine in the exam hall and if this machine is not properly recharged it will not be able to give its 100% so if you want your brain to function on the topmost capacity then don't forget to sleep because if you have proper sleep i'm telling you guys you will be able to solve certain questions which you might not have solved if you did not sleep properly your mind will function in such a capacity that your mind will be able to take out answers figure out answers for questions that you normally would never be able to figure out so now let's focus on things that you must remember on the day of your exam the first important formula that you must keep in your mind is that guys please wear comfortable clothes when you go to the exam hall don't wear fancy clothes i know the exam is happening in the hottest month of the year and it's good that you wear clothes which make you feel comfortable which will not create uneasiness in your body sometimes we don't even realize the fact that due to the discomfort that we are feeling on the level of our body will affect our focus during the exam time The second important thing that you must remember is that please for God's sake keep the important things at a place when you leave for your exam hall so you must take along your pen you must take along aadhar card you must take along uh, your admit card apart from it please leave all the other things at your home don't carry any accessories don't carry a huge amount of money when i went for this paper i was not carrying anything it was written in the admit card also i read all the instruction but there were several people who were struggling because they were carrying debit cards they were carrying some important gold ring or you know some important documents with them so if you carry all these things then the institution in which you might or uh, get your center in they will not be responsible for the uh, things that you are submitting there and that might also upset you so please keep away from all the things which might create tension in your brain and with this i come on to the third important point please reach the exam hall at least 1 hour before okay why i am saying this why at least 1 hour before because somewhere down the line if you know got stuck somewhere some other or, or the other thing happened and you were not able to reach on time the heartbeat that will increase just because the exam is uh, approaching in next 10 minutes and you are still not in the front of your exam hall that heartbeat will take time to settle down and that will also affect your performance in the exam so all these small things nobody is going to tell you but these small small things 
will definitely add some points while you are giving your paper you might be able to answer one or two questions correctly just because you have taken care of these points and those two questions matter a lot i'm telling you guys that matter a lot all these things my mother and there were several other people who told me and they make sure that i abide by these rules so that i was able to give my best in the exam hall the next important thing that i would like to tell you is that please have proper bath and breakfast before you leave home to reach the exam hall why bath and breakfast both are important because see whenever water falls on our body our body cells are rejuvenated we are definitely going to feel at least 50% more energetic after the bath so it's always good to have that extra edge plus breakfast is important because you will be there in the exam hall for next 4 5 hours so for that 5 hours if there is nothing in your stomach your brain will stop functioning so please pet bhar ke nashta karke jaiye that is important and also have proper bath and then leave the house you might need to get up a bit early but then that's okay if you have uh, you know burned midnight oils just because uh, you want to clear this exam getting up an hour early will not be a big issue for you the next important thing that you must remember is that when you get the omr sheet make sure that the first thing you do is that you fill all the details and please double check all the details all the entries that you fill because somewhere down the line if you make mistake in any one of the entry or you fail to fill any one of the entry in that case your omr sheet will be discarded and your result will not be counted so please make sure that you do not make any mistake when it comes to the omr sheet that is a sheet which is your identity people don't know you by name they know you by the omr sheet that you have filled so i have seen people making mistake they directly start marking the answers and they'll mark the answers and sometimes in the hurry they'll not fill two three entries in the omr sheet and they will submit the uh, omr sheet in that case your there's a big question mark whether UGC will consider your result or not so please in order to avoid such things make sure that the first thing you do when you get the omr sheet is that you fill all the entries and you also sign the omr sheet so before i end this video i would like to give you a very quick tip which will definitely be helpful in your exam time and this is based on my experience like when i sat for paper 1 and due to some time management issue i was not able to give enough time to the section of di and i had to hurry up okay when i was solving di due to which my heart beat my palpitation everything you know skyrocketed and even after i submitted the omr sheet of paper 1 i was really in a condition when i was barely breathing and at that time i found out one very important thing which helped me to regain my composure and calmness and that was deep breathing whenever during your exam time due to some or the other issue maybe you are not able to answer a question or you are running short of time you are not able to give your 100% you feel uneasiness in your body i'm telling you guys this works miraculously just have few deep breaths and you will see that everything in your body will automatically get balanced like this is a miraculous technique i'm telling you if you take 10 deep breaths it will take hardly 1 minute of yours and everything in your body all the emotional system which is running out of order will take care of itself so this is why i'm telling you that whenever during your exam time you find that uh, the palpitation or blood circulation or a uh, headache or any any such problem just take deep breath and i'm telling you everything will be fine so with that note i end my video so i've shared with you some tips which proved beneficial in my case i hope that it proves beneficial in your case too if you have any other tips that you would like to give to other net aspirants do write that in the comment section below give this video a big fan thumbs up if you like this video and share it with other net aspirants i wish you all the very best for your success do 
go and uh, share this video on other social media platform you can also go and visit my social media pages and like that pages if you like the kind of work i'm producing apart from it don't forget to subscribe to my channel because next sunday there's a wonderful video which is coming your way and you should not miss watching that video so make sure that you have subscribed to my channel with that note i take your leave thank you so much Keep loving literature, happy learning and stay tuned to alpatakarva.com.